What's up my fitness family? I have an awesome topic for you. It's called abs every day. These are simple ab exercises for beginners that you can do anywhere. My name is Brent Kaz, this is BK, PT. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Mash that notification bell, that way you're notified as all the newest content comes out. So I'm just trying to give you the simplest, most easy, and most effective ways to get in shape, eat right, and prep food and also mindset, all right? So these are exercises that you can do every single day. I got five of them for you. And you can take it from beginner to advanced. But the biggest thing with abs in general is just how you do them. So it's the correct form with it. You see people in the gym all the time or people talking about, oh, I do abs every day. I can do a thousand abs, you know, sit-ups. I can do thousand whatever and you know they're talking about how they can do all of this core work but at the end of the day if you're doing it right you're gonna be begging for mercy after 30 or so so anyways we're gonna jump right into it these are the five exercises that I do have for you and I'm gonna take them from you know really honestly beginners to an advanced level so that way you guys can see it in all aspects and also how this can progress with you all right when you do abs every day also, can't, why do, I mean, people are always asking, can you do abs every day? You can absolutely do abs every day. You use your core every day. It's like you know, doing calves or something simple like that because a lot of times these smaller muscle groups like that, you can do honestly all the time. Um, you don't want to over, like go crazy and do them for like seven hours. But you know, if you could knock out a few sets, you know, maybe for 10 minutes every single day, you know, you're just trying to build that strong core, that foundation. Because at the end of the day, like if your core gets weak, and you're tripping and falling and you're noticing it, you know, that you're, you're not as stable on your feet or whatever it might be just because of like career changes and different things that have gone on in your life or now you're sitting too much and you're just, your core gets lazy and you start to notice like you're not as, you know, reactive and like able to, uh, you know, be agile and all that type of stuff. So this is why you want to have a strong core. because It's going to keep you safe. It's going to keep your back safe. It's going to keep you from having back injuries later on in life, um, you know, because it gives you that great, you know, uh, core strength. You know, trying to, don't want to get too technical on you. So uh, I'm going to give you these exercises. We got the suitcase crunch or crunch. We got bicycle crunches. We have lying leg lowers. We have ankle taps. And also we're going to do windshield wipers. All right. So these are five exercises. You can literally do them anywhere. You don't need equipment. Um, it's just about literally getting down and knocking them out. When you're a beginner and you're starting off with this stuff, uh, doing 10 reps through each of the exercises would, be, would suffice, totally. You know, and it's just a matter, of, don't overdo it, go through it, like maybe two rounds of 10, uh, build yourself up to three rounds of 10, then drop back down to two rounds of 20, you know, kind of just pr pyramid your way up, um, rep range wise. But you still don't want to do it for too long, so max out about 15 minutes. You don't want to do any more than 15 minutes of abs every single day. Uh, but I did want to, you know, obviously I want to give you some, you know, guidelines and some, you know, fine print because, I mean, like, you know, most fitness people out there and most magazine articles, you know, they'll make a suggestion, but then they don't go into depth about it. So then you just, you read it and you're like, oh, I can do abs every day. I can do like six hours of abs every single day and you know, just be a ripped six pack abs and yada, yada, yada. But there's obviously a lot that goes into all of those things as well. Because you have your perception of what you think is right about what you are reading. So I want to make sure I try to hit all of those things. So maybe 10 to 15 minutes of abs max, uh, you know, start off with 10 reps, work your way up towards about 30 reps. Um, you know, five exercises is totally fine. Uh, you don't want to get too crazy with weights with it if you're planning on doing them every day. Um, if you do them like a couple times a week, then, you know, adding some heavy resistance to your abs uh, is, would, you know, obviously work as well. Woo, that was a lot, man. I just, I love talking. I love teaching you guys all of this stuff. So uh, one other key element when you're doing abs is how you breathe. Breathing when doing abs is crucial. So I try to teach people how to breathe through pursed lips. So like kind of make tight lips and blow through them because as you blow hard through pursed lips, 
it's going to make you contract your abs already. So this is things you can just practice in the car driving. Whoa, whoa, and then you can see like crap, man. You can just feel your abs contracting. So you'll start to learn, you know, that central nervous system, kind of like how it ties into your core. So you want your brain to understand how to work that muscle also, because then you're gonna get more benefit out of that as well. So, and you always wanna have that chin tucked down, rolling those shoulders and contracting those abs as tight as you can. You know, take your time, like, you know, dig in and blow out and feel what you're working. Don't just try to rep out 50 reps. You know, try to take your time, do one, two, like correct repetitions, you know, you'll see a huge difference, all right? So, and one other key thing that people tend to leave out also is you wanna make sure you keep that lower back nice and flat on the ground, all right? So as soon as you feel that lower back arch up like this and it's off the ground, then you're using your lower back opposed to keeping that flat back or even you know curved uh, the other way. I don't know, is it convex, is it concave? Um, I don't know, I can't remember all that stuff, honestly. <laughs> but um, if I Googled it, I would definitely know. Uh, but I wanted to just, you know, you, you want your back pushed into the ground nice and tight, rolling your stomach together, focusing on pulling, you know, your stomach into your spine and exhaling as you're contracting it, all right? So those are all mental cues that you need to kind of be running through because that's the foundation of building that core. So... Once you get all of those, you know, few things right, you know, when you do abs, you're going to always be really dialed in and concentrate on it. You're going to get so much more out of it. So don't worry about people that are in the gym or at home and you're walking with or talking to and they're like, oh, yeah, man, I can do 500 sit-ups in a row. You know, bet you if they're doing them right, they're not doing 500 sit-ups in a row, I promise you. So you do what you do and you do what you know is right and then just worry about you. So we're going to go in suitcase crunch or crunch. So beginners, if you have lower back issues, you want to make sure you start off with one leg on the ground, one leg bent. If you do, you know, 10 repetitions, you're going to be doing five each way. So you're not yanking on your head. You, know, you can even put your hands behind your ears so that way you're not pulling too hard. But you want to definitely roll that sho the shoulders up and just crunch again. So five, switch legs, five, all right? Um, Next level, same thing, keeping the back on the ground, just crunching up and down, up and down. You don't want to be throwing yourself. So do not use your arms. Do not use momentum. Go as far as you can, you know, reaching up, get some good cues, but definitely just crunch as far as you can up and focus pulling on the stomach in, breathing out on the way up. Okay, the suitcase crunch, which is awesome. This is one of my favorites, honestly is you literally have your feet up, you want your feet higher than your knees, okay? I try not to have people wrap their ankles unless they got something going on with like their feet or you know their legs because when you hold your feet separate, you're in control of both legs opposed to if you're doing this and sometimes you can be pulling harder with the one leg and you know lazier with the other leg because of the fact that you know it, they're wrapped underneath each other. So feet side by side, higher than your knees, backs driven in the ground, and you're literally going to crunch and roll your hips towards you as you roll your shoulders up. Okay, you're not coming down any further than this. So you're not coming down to the floor because that's what's going to make you arch your lower back. So you're just coming down to the flat position where your back's flat and then right back up. Exhaling on the way up, pulling your stomach into your spine. All right. So that would be your full crunch or suitcase crunch. Um, to make it even more advanced, you can do it on the top of a BOSU ball, balancing on a BOSU ball, uh, which is that half dome ball, uh, to make it a little bit more challenging even yet. So the next one we're going to go into is the bicycle crunch. Bicycle crunch is, is like a cross lateral crunch. So feet are flat on the ground, and you're going to come up and across towards the knee. So what people do wrong is they'll aim their elbow towards the knee. What you want to do is you want to aim your wrist towards your opposite knee. So same thing, don't yank on your head. You're going to come up that angle, coming across and up. 
coming across and up. If you feel like that's still too advanced, just do one side at a time. Cross your foot over top of your leg and coming up towards that opposite knee as well. So just like that. Same thing as you get better at them and getting that stronger core. Feet are above knee height and you're gonna come up and across all the way back. So biggest thing also is resetting. So you come all the way back and up, reset, reset. And you're always exhaling on the way up, pulling that stomach in. My favorite exercise in the whole world, bicycle crunches. So and if you believe that, you haven't seen enough of my ab videos that I do. So that's your bicycle crunch. Lying leg lowers. So you wanna make your hands underneath your butt, AKA like the lower part of your back, top part of your butt cheeks. And just, just keep that back driven into the ground. So starting off, if you need to, you could do it all with one leg in, up, lowering it down. And see so what do 10 per leg. As you get better at them, you're gonna bring your knees in, up, feet are apart, lowering them down. You never want your back to arch. So as soon as you feel that back arch, boom, shoot your legs right back into you. Picking them up, keeping them straight, lowering them down. As you get stronger core, you're going to be able to get lower to the ground. And you'll start to notice your back stays nice and flat. And you're just literally, the biggest thing with the leg lowers too is exhaling as you're lowering your legs down to the ground. So that's exercise number three. So number four was our ankle taps. This is also known as a penguin ankle taps. But what you're gonna do is you have your legs bent, you know, feet nice and tight to you. Your key thing is keeping that shoulders up. So you wanna roll your shoulders up and you're gonna reach towards the side, towards your tip of your toes. So you don't wanna just do this and tap your ankles, even though it's called ankle taps. <laughs> you're reaching for your toe tips. So the tips of your toes. So you want to reach down as far as you can and then back and then to the other sides because you don't want to be rolling and reaching and doing it. It's always thinking about keeping yourself on that same plane going back and forth. Okay, so shoulders are up, same plane, reaching side to side. So that's your ankle taps. And like I said, the biggest thing with that is keeping those shoulders up. That keeps those abs engaged as you are working your obliques. The last one we're gonna do is the windshield wiper. So there's a couple versions of this that, you know, obviously easiest to hardest. One is you wanna keep your arms out, palms down to the side. This is always. So beginner, you're just gonna roll, keep your feet on the ground and roll from one side to the other side, keeping those shoulder blades on the ground. Big thing, shoulder blades on the ground. Okay, next level you can do is bending your knees, keeping them nice and bent, keeping that lower back flat on the ground, and you're gonna rotate from side to side. Same thing, you wanna try to get as far as you can. Don't touch that floor though. So you wanna stop, you're using those obliques to stop yourself from hitting the floor. And then more advanced would be straight up, side to side. So same thing, use those palms, use your arms, keep those shoulder blades flat on the ground. All right, so th those were the windshield wipers. Another version of this too would be having the one leg stay on the ground and just crossing over, up, rotate, and then over. You have to know your limitations, your abilities. Um, you don't wanna hurt yourself, you don't wanna advance too fast, because at the end of the day, it's just, it, I mean, fitness is forever. It's a forever, you know, progression. You're always trying to better yourself, making yourself stronger. You know, you start to learn your, you know, abilities. You're like, man, I can just, and it's, but it's, and it's fun. It's fun to take yourself to that next level. So, and the biggest thing also is working around what's going on. So that way, like, if you have something going on that you want to, you know, work around, it, there, there's always workarounds for it. So. My name is Brent Kaz, this is BKPT. This is abs every day. Simple ab exercises for beginners that you can do anywhere. So these are five exercises that you can literally take from beginners to advanced 
and progress yourself through these, feeling like you're really accomplishing something. Hopefully you guys truly enjoyed these five exercises and you take advantage of them, like I said, and building that strong core, only taking you know, between five to 15 minutes every single day and getting yourself that foundation. It's very important, all right? Like I said, subscribe, mash that notification bell, that way you're notified as all the new content is coming out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Give me some love, show me some likes, and I will see you guys in my next video.